Hello, dear friends. I welcome you all to our cozy backyard. The Crimean Tatar Dishes program is with you and I am its presenter Rustam Dervish. Today we will cook one of the most beloved, most authentic dishes of the Crimean Tatars. Cheburiki. Be sure to wash your hands. Our hands and our thoughts must be clean before preparing traditional Crimean Tatar dishes. Because everything starts with cleanliness. Watch how the stove burns. Now we will cook on this fire. I start with the dough, with the preparation of the dough. Because borek is a dough pie. Yes, the ingredients are clear. This is the simplest. Flour, water, salt and meat, and onions. It all starts with a test. If anyone does not know, I have a diploma. Diploma where it is written that I am a technologist, bread bakery production. This is if anyone does not know. Someone will doubt, they will say why he suddenly began to cook, and not suddenly for a reason. In general, every man should be able to cook, because this is freedom, so that women do not reproach us. The most important thing is to start with the test. Let's take a little to cook today. Here are two of these blades. Now we need to salt the water, diluted with warm water. We need to wait until the salt dissolves, to be the correct proportion. And we begin to knead the dough. There was not much water. But, most likely, all this water will go away. I usually do it with a spoon first. Women, of course, out of habit immediately with their hands, but I first with a spoon. So it's more convenient for me. You see, this dish is the simplest, generally simpler, nowhere. The simplest dough, dough, meat, is simply mixed. What else do you need fried? Here in the steppe, let's say, they often fry it in a cauldron more often, and we often cook the South Shore ones on sajin. A unique case that the special utensils sajin, prior to deportation, so-called special frying pans. My father in his village calls this special frying pan saji. Well, it can be translated in different ways. Often translated as raw. And borek is borek, this is a pie. Throughout the Turkic world, the pie is called borek, cheburek. Well, there are two opinions. I prefer, of course, churcher. There are still in the Crimean region in the villages. We know that Cheburek's called churcher, not Cheburek, but simply churcher, such an onomatopoeia of the word. Accordingly, I think that in our case, churcher borek is a fried pie. I like this version more. All our dough is ready. Now cover it with a clean towel and leave for 20 minutes, just right. We are now preparing the meat. As long as we sharpen our knives, as long as we talk about it, it will come to us. Be sure to wash your hands. The most interesting thing I like most of all, here is water from the kitchen and from the bath from the toilet, water. They went into different pits, because it was impossible for these two waters to mix. It was a sin. So now let's move on to the most interesting. This is minced meat. So we take such a large piece of meat from us, we cut it in half. Now, if there are veins, we will remove them. What is the most interesting thing? The fact that today I will cook this meat. 
make minced meat with knives. The meat grinder appeared relatively recently. And before they cut meat with knives. And it is still believed that cheberek is delicious when minced meat is cut with knives. We start a sharp knife in the right hand, this one here. And with such movements, we easily and naturally cut minced meat. This is the so-called chopped minced meat. And if the minced meat is prepared in this way, well, of course, the cheberek turns out to be tastier, because we cut the meat. And in a meat grinder, it squeezes out a lot. This is a meat grinder, all the juices come from it. And it turns out that it is not chopped, not chopped. It is squeezed out through these small holes of the meat grinder. It turns out not meat, but some kind of meat paste. The traditional technology of minced meat preparation in the Crimean Tatar houses, when chebereks were prepared. Well, not only pasties, when the minced meat was being prepared, two knives came out to the center and such a process began. Today, even our children do not remember this. But therefore our task is to revive everything. There is still such a legend, but... Of course, I treat it as a legend, that one of the versions why the Cheberek has such a crescent shape. Allegedly, warriors on a campaign, when it was necessary to cook food, they turned over the shields, round, metal, put them on the fire and fried pasties in these shields. Well, a very beautiful legend. Why not? It's up to Luke. The more onions, the juicier. See how it's all simple in front of your eyes preparing a simple, but very tasty, healthy dish. No wonder this dish spread throughout the Soviet Union. Although it is what is the Soviet Union? This is the whole of Eurasia practically. And because of the fact that it is prepared very quickly and very tasty in the Soviet Union, in 1957 the first institution in the world was opened. And it was such a success that they began to spread very quickly. We come to any city, and we can safely eat cheberek somewhere at the station. Well, of course, the taste. It all depends on who is doing it. It's not always good. But if you want to eat delicious pasties, then this is for us. This is for the Crimea. So the bow is ready. Salt, pepper, salt. And again, the taste. I cook like this at home. Usually, everyone salted it like that and now we'll even work a little more with knives. Once again, let's go through the minced meat with knives so that the onion moves and gives up its juice. Minced meat is ready, we will put it in such a beautiful glass cup, ours. And well, I'll add water. People are, add, eat, do not add. Well, in our family they always added a little bit of water so that the cheberek was juicy. And yet, if you add more onions, it is again onions, juice, and will also be juicy. And again, we have not lost this juiciness anywhere in the meat, because we cut it neatly with knives, everything, all the juice in the meat. So now we have our dough. Here it rested here with us. Now we have it now. Our task is to share it. Now we have a little more of it. The more we mix it up, the better. It fades, becomes more uniform. There won't be any pieces there. To make it easier to cut into pieces. So I'm not a professional chef. I am a professional blacksmith, therefore, 
But I love to cook. I love to cook. And by the way, whoever eats what I have prepared, they are very pleased. And this is the main criterion. After we have prepared the dough, cut it, we make such blanks for ourselves. Just think how serious this is. This is just a cheberek. It has been developing for centuries and centuries. This is the technology for preparing this dish that has reached its perfection. And today we see it and today we eat it. This is our traditionally absolutely authentic food. When they say Crimea, they immediately imagine Chebereks. Crimean Tatars and Chebereks are inseparable. And if we are talking about people who are engaged in animal husbandry, and today we consider them nomads, because they periodically moved from place to place, but, as a rule, they were the same places. They just changed pastures. The animal grazes in these meadows. But we think that this only happened in the steppe. We don't have the south embankment here. Our people also grazed in the same way. They drove cattle in the summer, when it was hot downstairs. They drove them upstairs, and in this way they just changed pastures. They moved specifically because they had nothing to do. Location. Here, and, accordingly, what they ate, since livestock breeders, it means that they ate meat, milk, and well, they grew, grew grain, wheat, there and so on, dough, flour, and well, it was almost the main part of the diet of people in those days. So we are all done. The most important stage. The dough is ready. Minced meat is ready. Let's go to the fire. The most interesting begins. It all started with fire. There is fire. Now pour the oil. Our cauldron is already clean. I cooked it. Pour enough oil so that the cheberek floats in it. Today, young people call this technology fries, that is, pasties should float freely. Freedom is the main quality of our dishes. Even our pasties should float freely in oil. Look, the most important thing is skating. The dough should be thin and very thin. Who knows what subtle is? And take the dough. And look, if the husband's face is not visible, everything is still not thin. What is an interesting topic? These pasties of ours, chichur, were spoken in some districts, in some some villages they said so. That's what they used to say in my father's village. And to this day, when they remember, I remember my mother. That is, it says a seemingly simple task for the children, bring not firewood from the forest, but thin twigs. Why thin twigs is understandable. Because thin twigs made it possible to correctly regulate, very accurately regulate the temperature, oil. That's what we need in order not to burn our dish. And there, by the way, again, I repeat, they didn't say Chebereks, but they said Chichur to Chebarek and Chichur, they even knew such a word. It was later, after the expulsion, when all the people were mixed from different regions, and all in one place. Everyone began to speak approximately the same way, and everyone began to be called the same way. So, by the way, the time has come, let's drop it. That is, we omit this part like this simple and uncomplicated way we determine the temperature of the oil. Cheberek should not be fried for a long time. Cheberek is a fast food dish. That is literally no more than one minute. And the dish is ready. What does this give us? This preserves all useful qualities for us. What is in the products? The product does not burn. We do not need coals. We need a tasty, healthy product. We don't know where this dish came from. 
But it is very ancient, even according to those initial signs. What does ancient mean? The simpler the dish, the older it is. Well, that's what I think. And if we are talking about pasties, I have always been interested. When I started, but I generally do dishes. This is where it all started. I got my hands on an unusual knife. Here is such a thing. This is a knife for trimming the edges of dough. Test knife. But when you take it in your hands and think what kind of thing it is so interesting. After all, many have forgotten. Here, when the people were deported, they didn't take everything with them in their hands, they took some, of course. But when with a machine gun above you there is no choice. These knives, they meet different forms, but always and everywhere we see a cockerel always at all with a wheel in the form of the sun. This is what takes us back to those distant centuries before the Islamic period, when the Turks worshipped objects. They had such a very important element of their culture. And here we have a rooster. This goes further back in history. It is not without reason that my opinion is Farsi, because it immediately throws us back to how that is. When people worship the sun, this is the most ancient religion, this is the 7th century BC. When God is the sun, it is light. And today we meet, therefore, stones and cemeteries, where we see a lantern depicted. What is a lantern? A lantern is a ray of light, that is, a light that shows us the way to God. That is, there is so much information in this little thing. And when we make a chabarek, after all, we specially made such a tool that, when we cut, leaves on the edge at the edges of the chabarek. Rays are rays for a reason, in my opinion. This is the sun, the sun at sunrise. And at sunrise this is the main holiday. In general, in those days it was Navras Bayram. This is the day of the spring solstice. New year, when new year begins, new life. And then they cooked on the eve of the holiday, cooked all sorts of delicious things. And today, when there are already seven centuries of Islam, we profess Islam, the Turks, I mean. And today, on the eve of our main holidays, we are preparing pasties. It's not without reason, this connection, it all starts with this subject. This is how we regulate the temperature, the oil, in this simple, ancient, traditional way. For 1,000 and 1,000 years, the temperature of the mass was regulated like this. See how it boils. This tells us that the oil temperature has reached the level we need. That's who I didn't ask when I studied the topic about food. What is this? And everyone says the same and that's it, in a pause. And no one knows what it is. Now, if anyone knows, write, because everyone knows this, but no one remembers. And they ate it and just sprinkled it with sugar. It was. Parents, when, well, it's always these first children who got it. And now we are watching. See how fast it all happens. Once they fried it in free oil, and everything, the meat turns out, retains its useful qualities. We do not burn it, but we eat it, delicious, fresh, slightly temperature-treated meat. See, a very important note. If you pay attention to this when frying, pay attention to oil, and it must be changed there, fry a portion of pasties there. Well, conditionally, there are 10.15. Well, that is, once I regretted all the oil, it is no longer good, 
because then the cheberek then becomes black, not an unpleasant smell, and is simply unhealthy. And it must be fresh. Like this. Oil. Glass. For this we have a special device. Now we are finishing this pasties, and our oven has already reached its temperature. We also have an oven in our kitchen, an ancient oven for making bread. Today we know more about the kitchen, about such things, about ovens, and with a different culture already, which, well, let's say, in Italy, they cook pizza in such ovens, and they have such ovens similar to ours. All right, pasties are ready. Now we move on to a very interesting dish, togarek. This means that we have everything for this, and we will cook it in our oven. And many peoples of the world cook it. This means that under the same conditions, approximately the same dishes are born in everyone. Another thing is that someone has a name, only the name changes, but the essence is the same eat well, delicious. It's hard to argue with that, of course. So we try. I'm interested myself. Well, I think it's in the oven. The principle of our stove, this is an oven. Every home today has an oven, but they are usually gas or electric. And we have a wood-fired oven. So everything. Of course, I would cut it, but I saw that it was somehow wrapped like this. So we will wrap. Edge. In such a wonderful way, and do it evenly. Now we have korek. Oh. Now a cup of coffee. By the way, we have fire. We have jazz. It's good when you cook for yourself. I wanted to drink coffee. Mix it well once. This is how we prepare at this time. We must close. But look, pay attention to how it is already starting to turn ruddy from above. Обратите внимание, как он сверху уже начинает румяным становиться. This is wonderful. Has anyone drunk this coffee made in the oven? Well, yes. In general, you can no longer drink. Simply. You can give everyone a sniff. Listen, well, in general, what we do on gas is different, and what we have prepared here.
And now that happy moment has come when you can try. Not so long ago I watched a program where bloggers eat chebareks in Uzbekistan with a knife, fork, spoon, and what they ate chebareks with. So, since childhood, we eat easily and simply. First I want to note that in some families, again, depending on the region of Crimea, there is always a chebarek, and kafir was always nearby. Although it's a must, but in our family, as far as I remember, I still remember well, and compote was always served cold. These are my childhood memories. Therefore, for me, if the house smells of a person, then, then, it means that the cold compote next to the chebarek was compote. That's it. I can't resist. Will I do what we did at home? As in childhood, as before. Taste from childhood. We don't do that today. Now, and now we take kefir a little bit. We add the pasties. I end the whole transfer. I cannot anymore. Delicious. Here is the minced meat which we did not cook in a meat grinder, with meat, but simply cut with a knife masterfully. I want to note that it turned out to be a whole. Rich taste, preserved, here in this minced meat, juiciness, onion, black pepper are felt in this meat. Delicious. Well, I didn't really expect anything else. Chebarek, it is very difficult to spoil. Here I will not torment you anymore. This concludes the transmission. See us further. Further, it will be as interesting as today. We are always with you.